Welcome. Prepare to witness nature's raw power. Today we're exploring a force of nature, a phenomenon that has captivated and terrified humanity for centuries. A force that commands both awe and respect. A dance of destruction and creation. The tornado. A swirling vortex of wind, a testament to atmospheric instability. Tornadoes are spinning columns of air, nature's invisible hand made visible by condensation and debris. They connect the ground to the clouds, a tangible link between the Earth's surface and the turbulent skies above. But that simple definition barely scratches the surface of their complexity and destructive potential. They're a dramatic dance between Earth and sky, a visual representation of the immense power contained within our atmosphere, a spectacle of energy, a raw display of nature's might, a force that can change everything in an instant, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. We're not just listing facts. We're embarking on a journey to understand. We're diving into the heart of the storm, venturing into the eye of the tempest, to understand its true power, to unravel the mysteries behind this incredible phenomenon. Let's pull back the curtain and peer behind the veil of the storm and discover the truth behind the twister, the science, and the spectacle. Ready? Let's get started and explore the unseen power of the wind. Where does a tornado begin? Almost always, it's born from a powerful thunderstorm. The most intense tornadoes come from supercells, rotating storms with a deep persistent updraft called a mesocyclone. Inside these churning clouds, the perfect conditions for a tornado are created. When you see those ominous rotating clouds, you're witnessing the birth of something extraordinary. From chaos, nature creates focused, organized power. Names matter. The word tornado comes from Spanish roots meaning to turn and thunderstorm. You might also hear twister or in some contexts, cyclone, all describing the same powerful spinning force. No matter the name, it's a phenomenon that demands our attention. The name itself is a reminder of the energy and history behind these storms. At the core of every tornado is the vortex, a column of low pressure around which everything spins. Like a figure skater pulling in their arms, the vortex accelerates the winds to incredible speeds. Closest to the center, the winds are most destructive. Sometimes smaller suction vortices orbit inside, causing extreme localized damage. The vortex is the engine room of the twister. Imagine wind speeds exceeding 300 miles per hour. That's a force almost impossible to fathom, a relentless assault of air molecules moving with incredible velocity. Think about the fastest speeds you've ever experienced. It's even faster than a bullet train, those marvels of engineering that slice through the landscape at breathtaking speeds. These trains represent some of the fastest land-based travel available, yet a tornado's winds dwarf even their velocity or consider a jet at takeoff, hurtling down the runway, engines roaring, straining to break free from the Earth's grasp. The moment of liftoff is a testament to speed and power, but a tornado surpasses even this. At these speeds, tornadoes can strip pavement, tearing apart asphalt and concrete as if they were mere paper. The ground itself becomes a victim, scoured and reshaped by the sheer force of the wind. They can debark trees, ripping away bark and branches, leaving behind skeletal remains standing as silent witnesses to the storm's fury. The trees, once symbols of strength and resilience, are rendered helpless and turn debris into deadly missiles, transforming everyday objects into projectiles capable of piercing through walls and causing unimaginable destruction. Anything caught in the path becomes a potential weapon. The destructive energy unleashed is almost beyond comprehension, defying our ability to fully grasp the scale of the devastation. It's a force that reshapes landscapes and leaves an indelible mark on everything it touches. It's the upper limit of nature's fury, a demonstration of the raw, untamed power that our planet is capable of unleashing. It represents the most extreme weather phenomena on Earth. Concentrated in a narrow path, this energy carves a swath of destruction, leaving a stark contrast between the devastation within and the untouched areas surrounding it. The focused power is what makes it so dangerous. To witness such speed is to see the raw power of our planet, a humbling reminder of the forces that shape our world and the limits of our control. It's a visceral experience that leaves a lasting impression, 
It's both humbling, forcing us to acknowledge our vulnerability in the face of nature's might, and terrifying, instilling a deep sense of awe and respect for the destructive potential that lies dormant within our atmosphere. Despite their immense power and the potential for widespread destruction, tornadoes often have a surprisingly short lifespan. In fact, most tornadoes last less than 10 minutes. It's a fleeting dance of furious winds, a brief but intense encounter with nature's raw force. They touch down, sometimes gently, sometimes with violent impact, carve a path of destruction, a visible scar across the landscape, and vanish, often as quickly as they appeared leaving behind an eerie calm. They leave behind a stark reminder of their visit, a chaotic tableau of debris and displaced lives. This brief lifespan, this ephemeral existence, makes them incredibly hard to predict and track, even with the advanced technology we have today. But some, especially those spawned from powerful supercells, those monstrous rotating thunderstorms, can defy the odds and last over an hour, becoming a truly terrifying force of nature. These long-lived tornadoes can travel for miles, leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. These long-track tornadoes leave stories written across entire counties, tales of survival and resilience etched into the landscape. Their endurance is a testament to the sheer power and complexity of the supercell storms that sustain them, feeding their insatiable hunger. Tornadoes aren't always visible, Rain-wrapped tornadoes are hidden behind walls of water, making them especially dangerous. At night, they're shrouded in darkness, revealed only by lightning. Sometimes, there's no visible funnel at all, just swirling debris at ground level. This invisibility means we can't rely on sight alone. Listening for warnings and trusting meteorologists is crucial. The greatest threat is often the one you can't see. Tornadoes in the U.S. usually move from southwest to northeast, guided by the jet stream. This predictable path helps meteorologists warn communities in harm's way. Knowing the general direction turns awareness into action. If a tornado is southwest of you, you're in its potential path. Understanding these patterns can save lives. The U.S. is the global hotspot for tornadoes thanks to its unique geography. Warm, moist air from the Gulf collides with cold, dry air from the Rockies and Canada, all under the jet stream. This creates Tornado Alley, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, where the sky turns dangerous every spring. Residents here have a deep respect for the weather. They live where nature's power is most often unleashed. Tornadoes can happen any time, but spring and early summer are peak season in the U.S., the clash of warm ground air and cold upper air creates instability, perfect for tornado formation. Most tornadoes strike between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m., when the atmosphere is most energetic. Timing matters. The right conditions at the right time unleash the storm's power. Vigilance is highest during these months and hours. We measure tornado strength by the damage left behind, using the enhanced Fujita EF scale. EF0 means minor damage. EF5 means total devastation. Meteorologists analyze how buildings fail to estimate wind speeds. It's a way to translate chaos into a language we understand. The EF scale helps us grasp the true power of these storms. Watch and warning are critical terms. A tornado watch means conditions are right. Be prepared. A warning means a tornado is happening or imminent. Take shelter immediately. The difference can save your life. Watch means get ready. Warning means act now. Tornadoes can lift cars, uproot trees, and toss houses, forces that seem to defy physics. The suction and wind can peel roofs and move massive objects miles away. In extreme cases, entire landscapes are rearranged in minutes. It's a humbling display of nature's strength. For a moment, tornadoes suspend the rules of our world. Tornadoes come in all sizes, from narrow rope tornadoes to massive wedges over a mile wide. Size doesn't always equal strength, but it does affect the scope of destruction. Rope tornadoes carve precise paths. Wedges engulf entire towns. The largest tornadoes are moving walls of devastation. Scale changes the story, but not the danger. Tornadoes over water are called water spouts. Tornadic water spouts are as dangerous as land tornadoes while fair-weather water spouts are weaker and short-lived. Both can threaten boats and coastal areas. 
Water spouts are mesmerizing but demand respect. They're the aquatic cousins of the mighty tornado. Animals often sense tornadoes before we do. Dogs hide, cats vanish, birds fall silent. They may detect pressure drops, infrasound, or static electricity. Their instincts are a silent warning. Science is still uncovering how they know. It's a reminder to pay attention to all the signs around us. Tornadoes rarely come alone. They're part of severe thunderstorms. Hail, lightning, and torrential rain often accompany them. Hailstones can shatter windows. Flash floods can follow heavy rain. Taking shelter protects you from all these threats. A tornado is just one part of nature's full-scale assault. Doppler radar lets meteorologists see inside storms, spotting rotation before a tornado forms. By tracking wind movement, they identify the telltale hook echo of a mesocyclone. This technology gives precious minutes of warning. Even unseen tornadoes can be detected. Radar has saved countless lives. Tornadoes can form in minutes, sometimes less. The transition from funnel cloud to touchdown is incredibly fast. That's why warnings require immediate action. Hesitation can be deadly. It's a race against time, and the storm often wins. When a warning is issued, get to your safe place fast. Underground shelters, basements, or storm cellars offer the best protection. If you don't have one, go to the lowest floor in a small windowless interior room. Bathrooms and closets are good options. Get under something sturdy. Cover yourself with a mattress or blankets to shield against debris. Protecting your head and body is key to survival. The Tri-State Tornado of 1925 holds the record on the ground for 3.5 hours, crossing three states and 219 miles. It was likely an F5, moving at over 60 miles per hour. Its legacy is unmatched in tornado history. This storm taught us about the endurance and power tornadoes can possess. It stands as the ultimate testament to nature's relentless force. We've explored the science, the stories, and the safety of tornadoes. Knowledge replaces fear with respect and preparation. These storms are part of our world's dynamic dance. Next time you see dark clouds, remember what you've learned. Live with awareness and a healthy respect for the sky. Stay safe and thank you for joining me.